my fellow FNAF fans. Welcome back to some more FNAF news. Today we're going to be covering some real interesting things that have happened over the past couple of weeks that I have not covered. Um, there are uh, a few things that, you know, that, you know, I, I, reasons I haven't been uploading. Uh, I am working on a collab, if you guys didn't know about that. I am working on a collab with Impulse Evan B, uh, on an uh, Elizabeth What If scenario. We'll uh, be uploading it specifically on his channel. Um, and the story is still in works. We're still in the... Uh, you know pre-production stages but I will be editing the whole thing and you know we're gonna be uploading it on his channel and uh, that's kind of what we've been doing but uh, since then you know that's you know there's been a bunch of other things that have happened so uh, let's cover it uh, but before I get started remember to like and subscribe and um, yeah let's get started so uh, before I get into what dropped today because I'm sure a lot of you guys know what dropped today I want to cover a couple things regarding the upcoming FNAF 2 movie so first thing to mention uh, is Johnny blocks here has teased uh, by from Daniel RPK who was relatively accurate in the recent um, or, or you know uh, leading up to the movie was relatively accurate in his leaks and it says that Blumhouse is reportedly interested. <clears throat> excuse my uh, mumbling. Blumhouse is reportedly interested in expanding the Finance of Freddy's film franchise with possible spin-offs. Now, I have been saying that this will happen for so long now because I knew that it was going to happen at some point. This thing, in terms of the horror franchise, like, and just, you know, overall, in terms of horror, you can milk this thing dry. You got a lot of money for a specific horror, um, for, for a horror movie, you got a lot of money off of this thing. And I'm not saying that, and, and the reason why this will be good is because the first movie, I talked, I've talked with some people who aren't, like, huge FNAF fans, they're not the biggest fans of this movie, so if you actually make like spin-offs that are more horror focused you can like cause like a whole like just film universe basically you can make like finance of freddy's but like an mcu essentially you know people have suggested what if we do like you know the fast and fright stories i think that's trash i don't think that we should do anything regarding the books or like just any pre-existing stories at all because you know, obviously we'll have the games and whatnot, but if you, but like in terms of existing stories, if you want to actually expand the brand in terms of the movie, you have to do new stories. But if they are interested in this, and yes, I am aware that we haven't really gotten um, any huge news on the pre-write situation since, you know, that they'll reportedly be um, filming in July. Um, we do know, though, that Emma Tammy teased this a little while back and how they were interested in. I'm not 100% sure where it is. Uh, if someone could find it, then awesome. But, you know, this overall is a huge W for the community because this means that, you know, we aren't just going to be capping out of three. And this was backed up by Matthew Lillard, who posted this. He says, Matthew Will Lillard just confirmed some FNAF 2 info in a recent podcast. He mentions this summer will probably the first... He mentions, yeah, this summer. So, I did, for some reason... Where is it? I'm gonna go to, um, here, uh, my Discord server. If you guys aren't in my Discord server, I do have the link in the description. Uh, I did get... From one of my friends, we call him Fail, but my friend, I fail a lot, L. He did say that I heard the movie filming is being delayed a bit. I'm not 100% sure how accurate that is. Uh, that may or may not be true, but assuming that, you know, if they are starting to film this summer, and he's saying there will be two movies at least or more, then that is even more evidence on top of them possibly wanting to expand. So Daniel RPK could very well be right. And there are times where I've hoped that he was wrong, like the bite not being in the film. Obviously that's not gonna happen or it never was gonna happen. But still saying that, you know, we could, you know, expand into more movies, you could just expand, you could do so many things with a film universe of FNAF. You could literally make a TV show. Do you guys know how awesome a TV show would be in terms of FNAF? That would be insane. That would be incredible. I would love that. I would watch every episode of that. Sorry about the my camera. Sometimes doesn't focus that well. But anyway, um, 
yeah, that's the updates regarding the movie news. But we do have the big story of today. Wait a second. Now, this is not the big story that I'm talking about, but this is insane. When was this? This was yesterday. Need a drink after a long session of golf? Have no fear. I'm getting this. I don't, I don't care what anyone says. I am so getting this. I want this in real life. I want the actual fizzy faz. This is fantastic. Oh my gosh. I'm not even advertising for them and I just love this. But no, no, no. Here is the big uh, story of today. We're getting more books. Yay! No, I'm just... It's honestly not that bad. This is actually, you know, this is not doing expanding it more into the short story film we have a new five nights of freddy's book the week before which has appeared in scholastic's database and down here i believe that it will be releasing in september so after the summer so this is absolutely insane because the week before i wonder what that could mean i there really is no other way to chalk it up other than phone guy who worked a week before the security guard this is not about the movie because this is not the movie logo this is the movie logo it has all sorts of different logos this is simply the overall brand logo which means that this interactive novel and an in, in interactive novel for those who don't know it's not like you're reading down you're reading one story you basically choose your story you have two paths essentially and you take a path uh, that may lead to a smaller story and then you have another path that leads to a bigger story and then like it, it keeps you know doing that and usually it'll tell you skip to this page if you want to continue the story so that's the really interesting thing about this so this isn't going to be like truly part of canon because or if it is truly part of canon it's gonna be like a multiverse sort of situation because uh, with what we have here we're gonna be having all sorts of different like pathways and scenarios so this is absolutely insane, the fact that we are getting the story of the phone guy. And if this is truly talking about what happens in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, then we are going to officially get the name of the phone guy. We have gotten so close. We've got the name Bob in the in the uh, movie novelization, but we don't know that that's phone guy. We don't even know if that's standing in for phone guy. I mean, like, we know that it was a previous security guard, but who says that the security guard that was working before Mike was specifically one week before. It could have been like, I don't know, a year before. That could literally be a flashback to like a year ago. Um, but this is absolutely wild, especially because, and, and I'm really excited for this. This is like, this is like a project that I'm actually really looking forward to uh, in the community because like we, we really just don't have all that much coming out in terms of the games. And like the thing that was before was that even though we had a long wait with the games, we always had the books to keep us going. But now we have no books to keep us going, so we're just basically just kind of like just waiting for things to happen, which is why it's give it opened up time for me to do other things. But this alone actually gives me something to look forward to to the books rather than, oh shoot, it's another book. I just gotta keep reading them to keep up. No, this means that I can actually look forward to a book project. So this is really, really exciting. Um, before I end this video, I'll just check out some of the other news we have if you got again If you guys want to check out the news it is in the description for the link to my discord server um, We have U2's merch of course. There's so much U2's merch dear merch like stuff uh, The FNAF show is back Daco confirms hex FNAF plushies. Yeah, he's still in charge of hex and stuff like that. So you know, cool stuff. YouTube's posts a teaser of a Balloon Boy plush. Yeah, that's gonna sell real well because everyone loves Balloon Boy. This is really cool. Uh, I assume that Hex doesn't have a spring trap, and then they got Mike Schmidt uh, guard stuff, things like that. Um, I think that's all the interesting stuff. This is dope as hell. The Nightmare Freddy T-shirt. Um. Figpin has dropped their FNAF line for classics. Oh, this is cool. It's something I'm not going to purchase because I don't have the money right now. Uh, more plushies and stuff like that. And we caught up to the Burn Trap 
uh, what is this? This is the shirt. Yeah, yeah, this is the shirt. I, I showed a bunch of other people this. And I believe that's it. So, anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, thank you for tuning in. More news coming hopefully soon when, you know, there's actually interesting stuff to cover, like today. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for today. Uh, and, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll see you later. Peace out.